hey guys welcome back to ocean beauty in this video i will be showing you guys how to maintain your twist out overnight and in this video this is like day two hair And for this twist out, I had used products from Miel, and oh my gosh, I did not know that they were that bomb. Like, y'all, just look at the definition, and my hair feels so moisturized, and now it's like 40, 50 degrees outside, and this is like day two or day three here, or day two, I'm not sure. I think I mentioned it in the previous part, but y'all look at that definition and for this color it's color wax like it looks real but it's actually just color wax i kind of wish it was real and i'm yawning because i recorded this video like at around 1 a.m after i got off of work and i was so tired but i really wanted to record this video so the first thing you're going to need is a silk scarf or something like a head wrap but it would be better if it was silk because you don't want like a cotton material or else your hair is going to snag on it and it's going to dry out your hair. And then you're going to take that scarf and make it into a triangle shape. This will help to like form the pineapple shape that your hair is going to be in. And next you should grab a silk scrunchie if you have one. Um, a silk or a satin scrunchie. This will kind of stretch your hair while you have it up in a pineapple shape. And you don't need to like put it in a tight bun at all. You can just do a really loose one. And I apologize if I sound kind of like stuffy. I am getting over a cold so I might like talk like really nasally. So I apologize for that in this video but I'm getting better. And then you're just going to keep the hair scarf like in a triangle shape. And then you're going to put the bottom part of the triangle at the back part of your head. And use the two parts in the front to tie it in the front. And it's like a cute style too. Like sometimes if I'm running like late or something, I will literally just keep it like that. Because it looks like intentional. Like it's actually a cute style like that. I would just take the scrunchie out so my puff can look bigger. But yeah, this is the first part. This is going to keep them stretched and like organized and it won't be all matted in a bonnet. But now you're going to pick up your bonnet and actually just put it over top of that. And it's way better than just putting it on like your fro and not doing anything else to it because this keeps it all together. And it usually stays on like all night like this. And now this is the next morning, which is this morning, and I look so much more rested. And it stayed on for the most part all night. It just slid back a little bit because I actually pushed it back while I was washing my face so nothing would get wet. But for the most part, it stayed in place. And the scrunchie definitely helped. And the definition is still there and it's really not frizzy, but I cannot wait until like day four, day five hair because that volume after you have a good twist out is just godly. And now look at this slow-mo. Like this is probably one of my best twist outs to date. Like I swear, I don't know what they put in their products, but it's some magic for real. Like look at that. And now I'm just picking out my hair to get it like back in an even shape. And I got this afro pick from Flora Curl a few months ago. And it's so cute and pink. Like it's my favorite thing to use. Y'all should definitely go and check them out. But this process usually does not take long at all. Like literally a few minutes. Or maybe not even a few. Maybe a minute. Like I feel like if you already have a good foundation when you do like this overnight thing like a good twist out and it has definition that can carry you through the week that you really won't need to do much at all. So as you can see, like that really didn't even take a lot of time at all. Like it's shaped. And you guys know hoops are a black girl essential right behind lip gloss. So of course I had to add it into today's look. It's just like, 
it brings how you look to the next level. Like, I don't know. It's just something about it, like decoration or something. But I still cannot get over the definition of my hair. Like, look at that. This color, like, I absolutely love it so much. Let me know in the comments what's another color that I should try this fall that'll give, like, fall slash winter vibes. And let me know if you guys would try this color out. And now we are all done. Like, this really took under 10 minutes to do. Like, you should just make sure your hair already has a good foundation so you will not have to do much when you're getting ready for the rest of the week. Like, it's so much easier that way. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye.